of John 6. And this is the principle of personal deliverance. The principle of personal deliverance. They willingly received him into the boat and immediately the boat was at the land where they were going. Let's talk first about deliverance. Once they realized it was Jesus, they received him into the boat. Two things about this little phrase I want to talk about. One is they willingly received him. They willingly received him. My friend, listen. If you will know the Lord as your Savior, Master and King over your life, you will do it because you said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Even Saul of Tarsus, who was basically struck down on the road to Damascus, could have said no to God. In face of all the evidence, he could have said no. They willingly received him into the boat. Now these disciples, of course, they already knew the Lord and all of that. And he comes across the water. They realize the miracle has taken place. They're going to receive him in. But let's think about the boat a little differently for a minute as your life. Your life is that boat. Your life is like that. I don't know what, what your life is. Everybody has a little different story to tell. Young and old, everybody. We've got a little different story to tell, but your life is like that boat. Will you willingly receive Him? All of this that's going on around, you know the Lord is working. God has done amazing things around us. We know the stories of the Gospel. We know the miracle stories. We've even seen where God has worked in the lives of other people. This same Lord Jesus wants to be in your life. Will you willingly receive Him? Willingly receive Him. And it's willingly received. As many as received Him, to them gave He the right to become sons of God. Even to those that believe in His name. They're the ones that are going to be children of God. In one sense, all the people on earth are children of God because by creation, by creation sense, made in His image. But in a very salvation, strict, exclusive salvation sense. Only those that follow the Lord Jesus are children of God. And it is only by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ can we willingly receive Him into our lives. And then we have the right to become children of God. We're given that right, that privilege, that honor to be children of God in a salvation sense. Where are you today? What is your relationship? Do you know the Lord Jesus in a salvation experience? If not, then today could be that day for you. Willingly call on the name of the Lord Jesus to come into your life. Willingly invite Him in. Willingly open your life up to Him to come in and receive Him into your life. You can do that today. The fourth principle. Once we receive Christ, we can be assured that He will take us where we need to go. We can be assured of this. In this boat trip, immediately the boat was at land where they were going. He was taken immediately there. Right? And this kind of confidence is very important in the Christian life. Very important in the Christian life. Confidence is necessary part of the Christian life. Confidence meaning trust. That God is going to show me what He wants me to do. God is going to show me where He wants me to go. God is going to show me how He wants me to serve. Every Christian is to serve. Every Christian is called to serve. We just don't know how, where, when. What is God's plan? But the thing we know for sure is He'll let you know. He'll guide you. He's not going to save you and leave you. He's going to save you and be with you. He's not going to save you and then abandon you and leave you to wonder about what's going to go on in your life. No. His Spirit comes to... Those that are sons of God are led by the Spirit of God. His Spirit comes to lead us. And this is the tremendous blessing that we believe we have a living God 
and we experience Him and live for Him and live with Him, daily living with Him, He guides us and He leads us. You may be at a crossroads in your life. I don't know. A time of decision. A time of transition. I don't know. But you can be assured of one thing. He's going to let you know what you need to do. He's not going to leave you. He promised that. You can be sure He'll let you know where He wants you to go. You can be sure He'll make it clear to you how He wants you to serve. You be a man, woman of faith. You be bold like Peter. Lord, just call me. I'll come. Just say the word, I'll come. And then that simple little word, four letters in English, come. Simple little word, and Peter is in the water. It's characteristic of him. And we might criticize him for his struggle. And we might criticize him for, but he's the only one out of the boat in the stormy waters going to Jesus. Sometimes we do foolish things as Christians. Sure we do. But let's go down. We go under foolishly believing Christ. Amen? Go under. If you're going to sing, sing with Jesus. Don't, don't, don't let this whole thing in life. Don't go down with the world. Don't let the world pull you under. If you're going to go under, go under with Jesus. I can assure you, He will be faithful. He's not going to abandon you. He promises. Just in conclusion, okay? One, is Jesus calling you into some rough waters? If so, how will you respond to his call? Is he calling you into some rough waters? How will you respond? time of prayer. Maybe you want to talk to the Lord about it. But Lord, I don't know what's ahead, but I'm going to trust you. Just tell me. Have you heard these comforting words from the Lord Jesus? Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Let it echo in your mind. Do not be afraid. Those are not my words. Those are the words of Jesus. Take them in your mind and your heart. Nourish yourself on these words. The Lord Jesus says to those who follow Him, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I'm here. Only you know the answer to the next question. Have you received Him into your boat? Don't try to launch out in that boat by yourself. Make sure Jesus is in there with you. Let's take a moment and pray together. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for this day. What a great story. Imagining the rough waters there. You come walking. You know exactly where your disciples are all the time. You know their struggles all the time. And yet you still come to them. Over and over again, I failed you, Lord. But yet you keep coming. You keep coming. You don't abandon. You don't forsake. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. What a master. What a savior we have. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I pray for each one that's here today. There may be some that are hearing a call into rough water. All they know is, Lord, you're saying, come. Come. Now, Lord, I ask you, give courage. Comfort hearts. With the do not be afraid. With the I'm here. Don't worry. Comfort hearts, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, if there's any here that are uncertain if you're in the boat with them, I pray they would welcome you in, even today. Thank you, Lord, for your love, mercy, kindness, and forgiveness that we find in Jesus Christ. We just look to you today and say hallelujah.
And thank you, Lord, for your goodness toward us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.